You are welcome to online lectures with Fametani TD School Boy. Today we are going to take a look at chemistry and we have a question on the board. The question says a sample of hard water contains calcium sulfate and calcium hydrogen carbonate. The total hardness may therefore be removed by A. Boiling the water. B. Adding excess calcium hydroxide. C. Adding calculated amount of calcium hydroxide. D. Adding sodium carbonates. This question has to do with hardness of water and how to remove the hardness. I want to talk about hardness of water. If you are washing your clothes or doing one or two domestic chores with a hard water, it will be difficult for the soap you are using to form lather in the water. You will be busy wasting the soap. Why? A hard water contains dissolve salt that impacts this hardness and the chief culprits are calcium tetraoxysulfate 6 magnesium tetraoxysulfate 6 calcium hydrogen triosocarbonate 4 these are the chief culprits so we know is either potassium salt of organic acid or sodium salt of organic acid. The commonly used one being sodium octadecanoate. So as you are washing that your clothes using a hard water, and you are on the sodium octa decanoate soup. As you are washing, what happens is that the sodium will displace calcium from calcium tetraosulfate 6, forming calcium octa decanoate and sodium sulfate. Now, the sodium, the calcium octa decanoate is insoluble it will come out as a precipitate. So as you are washing, the soap you are using to wash will be busy precipitating the insoluble salt of this calcium or magnesium from the water. And you will be busy wasting your soap. This is basically what happens. So this hardness of water needs to be removed so that you will be able to wash our clothes without having issues. Now, there are two basic, there are two types of hardness. We have temporary hardness and permanent hardness. Now, let's talk about temporary hardness. Temporary hardness of water is caused by presence of calcium, hydrogen, trioxocarbonate 4 calcium hydrogen trioxocarbonate 4 this is soluble so it's a soluble salt in the water so to remove this is as easy as just number one is just to heat it once you heat the water this will decompose and forms Calcium Once you heat calcium hydrogen triodocarbonate four, it will decompose to form calcium triosocarbonate 4 which is a solid 
sorry, this is not sorry, this is aqueous. Sorry. It will form calcium trihydrocarbonate 4, which is a solid, plus water, liquid, and the carbon dioxide will be evolved, which is gas. So this is what happens when you just boil it, boil the water, it will it will decompose. So it's easy to remove. This is what you experience when you are boiling water with your boiler. If you use, if you boil water, if you boil a temporary, a temporarily hard water, if you boil it, you notice that sometimes you, you see some four like four light layer on the boiler after you must have done with the boiling. They will deposit on the boiler. That thing that deposit on the boiler is calcium trihydrocarbonate 4. So that's what happens when you boil a temporarily hard water. So with this now you have removed the hardness from the water. The temporarily hard water can also be removed by adding a calculated amount of slaked lime. Slaked lime is calcium hydroxide. Slaked lime is calcium hydroxide. This is calcium This is slaked lime. Now, to remove a temporary hard, hardness, temporary hardness from water, you can see it's probably a calculated amount of this slaked lime. Let's go. This is calcium trihydrocarbonate, hydrogen trihydrocarbonate for present. This is a uh, aqueous, and this is solid. So see what you have. You have let's balance the equation. We have this is two. This is two. So. Calcium is two, 1, 2. Calcium is 2. Hydrogen is 2, 2, which is 4. Oxygen is 6, 4, which is 10. 6. Oxygen is 6, 2. This is 6, 2, 8. So it's balanced. The equation is balanced. So this is what happened when you now when you add a calculated amount of slaked lime, the same calcium carbonate will come out as a precipitate. So these are the two major ways of um, of um, removing temporary hardness from water. Now, what of permanent hardness? Permanent hardness is caused mainly by the presence of chlorides and tetraoxosulfate C salt of calcium and magnesium. So let me focus on, um, on calcium sulfate. So I don't waste time. So so now uh, calcium sulfate. This and this they are culprits in causing permanent hardness of water. And you cannot remove them by boiling the water or adding calcium. No, no. The only way you can remove them by chemical means by using precipitating them out using sodium carbonate you can you either use sodium carbonate or as as you find in um ion ion exchange resins using um 
ion exchange resin containing a uh, zeolite. Zeolite is a sodium aluminate, sodium aluminium trioxosilicate four. Sodium aluminium trioxosilicate four. The common name is zeolite or palmitate. Let me not go there. But the point that is that you either is done using ion exchange resin or you add sodium carbonate. So in a salt, let me clean. Let me use sodium solvent as an example. In a salt containing, sorry, in a, in a water containing this, once you add sodium carbonate, see what will happen. Casual. This is what will happen once you add sodium carbonate. Casual carbonate will precipitate out as a as a will come out as pre precipitate. So with that we have we have removed the work, the hardness. The same thing happens with magnesium, magnesium sulfate. Also, in ion exchange resin containing sodium zeolite, this is this is exactly what happened. They have exchange of ions. As as the water is passed through passed through the resin, what happened is that the calcium calcium sodium from the sodium zeolite will go into the solution, while calcium will be taken off by the water resin. So as as well as water passed. The the calcium salt because calcium zeolite calcium zeolite will leave the water solution so the water is free. But if the sodium the the uh, as the as the whole, as, as whole process continues, it will go to a point where the there is no much 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 zeolite to, to to use again. Common salt will be introduced to. Take more pop the calcium in the calcium ze zeolite, replacing the calcium with more sodium. So you have more sodium zeolite. The whole process, process, process will, will continue again until the water is completely free of hardness. So this is what happens in, in removal of permanent hardness. So with this brief explanation, let us let us go to the back to the question. The question says that the sample contains calcium sulfate and calcium hydrogen carbonate. So this is not just, yes, this is for temporary hardness, but this is permanent hardness. So to, to completely remove this thing, remove hardness from, from the water, boiling alone cannot do it. Because if we really boiling remove this one, it cannot remove calcium sulfate. So boiling cannot do it. Adding an excess calcium hydrogen that is even the worst, it cannot work. What do you want to achieve by adding excess calcium hydroxide? Doesn't make sense. Adding calcium, a calculated amount of calcium hydroxide. This is slick line. Yes, but you can only take care of this temporary calcium hydrogen carbonate. What of calcium sulfate? So this cannot work. Then adding sodium carbonate. Once you add sodium carbonate here, it will, it will dismantle everything. Calcium carbonate will, will just come out. So the answer is adding sodium carbonate. Our partner is sodium triazo carbonate four. Once you add it to tar, hardness will be, will be what removed. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any question, feel free to chat me up on WhatsApp. My WhatsApp line is on the screen. Please follow my page and like my page on Facebook. The page, my page name is Fermentality the School Boy. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel name is Fermentality the School Boy. I am organizing a monthly academic competition. I tagged academic battle with Fermentality the School Boy. 
registration is absolutely free and you have a lot to learn by participating in this competition once you register you'll be given the topics to read the one that is coming up next is on 7th january 2023 and i tagged it mathematics back to 3.0 with fraternity the school boy if you are interested chat me up i will i will send you the link for registration the exam is purely online you can write it from any part of the world there are a lot of prizes to be won if you are interested in sponsoring this please chat me up on whatsapp i'll send you account details for transfer of money any amount of money you donate for this we go a long way motivating our youths to pursuing academic excellence please like my my lecture videos watch them comment on them share with your friends your colleagues your children your students someone out there may need this lecture god bless you see you next time